Ukraine's stated plans to hold territory in Russia's Kursk region could give the Ukrainian armed forces a chance to bleed white the Russians by drawing them into a grueling, drawn-out fight, just as they are doing on their own soil, British military strategy expert Matthew Saville told Business Insider. According to him, for the Ukrainian military, the calculation is that if they create a strong defense, they will be able to effectively bleed the Russians dry, effectively do what has already happened in other places. Earlier, the UK Ministry of Defence said that more than 70,000 Russian troops were killed or wounded in May and June thanks to effective Ukrainian defences and a lack of Russian training, and Russian troops continue to suffer heavy losses, the newspaper notes. As the article points out, if Ukraine manages to gain a foothold and hold onto the Kursk region, Russia's attempts to fight back could also result in heavy losses especially considering that many of the Russian soldiers in Kursk are poorly trained. Many of them are young, inexperienced conscripts. CIA Deputy Director David Cohen said late last month that retaking Kursk from Ukraine would be a hard fight for Russia, while Michael Bonnert, a military expert at the RAND Corporation, told BI that retaking the territory would be very costly for the Russians. As the publication notes, Russia often uses the tactic of protracting battles, and some military observers even claim that this is an element of the Russian theory of victory, given the tension that such battles create for Ukraine. Moreover, Saville explained, in order to bleed the Russian forces in Kursk, Ukraine would have to put up quite an effective defense very quickly. This, he said, would be difficult to do quickly, not impossible, but difficult, particularly if they were doing it under fire. In addition, Business Insider writes, Ukraine's efforts in the Kursk region also risk leaving sections of the front in Ukraine underdefended, which will lead to the depletion of their already small armed forces. According to analysts, the invasion of the Kursk region allows the Ukrainian armed forces to challenge Russian control over the combined arms initiative in Ukraine. During the Kursk operation, Ukrainian forces captured over 600 Russian soldiers. The captives include conscripts, mobilized personnel and contract soldiers from the Russian armed forces. Conditions for holding Russian soldiers in Ukraine and their views on the war and Putin were explored by military correspondent Bordana Lyaskivska of RBC Ukraine. More than 600 military personnel are already in captivity. There are officers, Chechens and Kadyrovs militant among them. We will exchange all of them for our guys. This is also one of the objectives of this operation and it justifies itself. President Volodymyr Zelensky said, commenting to Western media on the Ukrainian armed forces operation in the Kursk region. RBC Ukraine journalists were able to speak with some of these captives. The captives themselves are surprised by the conditions and treatment. We were told it was better to greet with a grenade than to be taken captive, but here everything is quite different, says one of the Russian soldiers. One captive is only 20 years old. He says he joined the army to get an amnesty and was indifferent to the so-called special military operation. Now on camera, he admits that Russia did attack Ukraine and does not understand the purpose of it. When asked how to stop it, he shrugs and says, it's all politics and Putin. We understand it's bad, but we can't do anything about it, he says somewhat bewilderedly. This young man, along with other Russian soldiers, was captured on August the 18th. They found themselves completely surrounded and surrendered without a fight when the Ukrainian forces approached. They say they were treated very well, not even bound, and were immediately given food and cigarettes. This young man has only known Putin as the leader of Russia, given his age. When asked if he considers this normal, he admits he doesn't know if the dictatorship will ever end. Most don't even go to the elections because it will still be Putin, says the Russian soldier. Many captives assert that they do not need Ukrainian land. They have plenty of Russian territory and are willing to leave Ukrainian land, but are unsure how to make that happen, as all Russian militants will not lay down their arms or leave the state border. If someone does, a new batch of soldiers will be sent in their place. Although the captives speak as if in touch with reality, the guards claim that their words should not be taken at face value. Since they are in special conditions, they might say anything. However, they are not actually threatened here, unlike Ukrainian captives on the other side of the border. A logical question arises from the captives. Do they know the conditions Ukrainian prisoners are held in? 
They say that although the TV shows them in good condition, they know about the torture.